it up before these streams, don't I? Always something missing. Always something unprepared. Always something, something, something. <sighs> now there's something on my nose. Hold on. I ditch my nose. If my nose would like to stop being an asshole about it, that'd be great. I would be very pleased. And this time... <clears throat> this time I made sure I brought snacks. This time I have snacks. This time I'm not an idiot and I didn't forget my snacks. Because snacks are awesome. I just did the sound effects and whatnot as well, just in case. I don't think they're too loud, but... I don't know. Just in case. I quieted the game down a bit. And I'm already at half health because Road kills being a fucking asshole. And I swear to god, his special charges way faster than it should when he's an AI. But then again, the AI in this game is a cheating bastard and I know that, so... I guess it's not big a deal. That's not really a big surprise, though, is it? Good. Two of the strongest uh, special attacks in the game. Now I'm stuck with them. Yep, that's why. Can these gate doors open, please? Uh, damn it. <clears throat> well, that's not very surprising, to be honest. How did that not hit Mr. Grimm? I'm not happy about that. You never played a single Twisted Metal game, Calyx. Well, that's interesting. Then again, it's a pretty niche game, so... It's a pretty niche series, so... Twisted Metal 2 was the first game I ever played. At the age of three. Because my grandma Marty accidentally, uh... Mixed my games up with my dad's games. So, yeah. <laughs> I actually have a funny story about that game, in fact. Um... The Calyx, you go... Tis Calyx, you go... Um, uh, not Calyx. Hold on. Uh, I'll read that properly in a minute here. Um, but... In the first, in Twist Metal 2, the, uh... Main menu screen would start off with Sweet Tooth's signature laugh. And as a kid, that terrified me, but I also loved it. I would run back to the game, like, I would hear Sweet Tooth laugh, and I'd run screaming and crying, but I'd come back wanting to hear it again. It was the weirdest thing, apparently. Tis k licks. You go of... Not k lick What? Oh, ca Calyx? Is it Calyx? Have I pronou been pronouncing it this whole wrong this whole time because of my dialect? That's more or less my because of my dialect. Ow! You see, because uh, I have a friend named Caleb, or I used to have a friend named Caleb. So when I see C-A in a name, I instantly think K. I think it's the K sound, not Ka, like California. I'm sure I sound very weird to be hearing, don't I? Especially because I'm one of the few people in the Discord chat who isn't from Britain or Ireland or somewhere around that area. I'm completely from the West.
Uh, I think I'm one of the only people in that Discord chat that is. Aside from Stars. I know that Stars is in, like, Ohio or something. Is Stars in Ohio? I think he's somewhere around that area. I don't remember off the top of my head. I know he's American, though. Oh, God. Calyx, why? I'm gonna have to force my safe myself to say Calyx. Care to guess where? Well, where? Oh fuck. Oh, yeah. I missed that game. I wish it was better. Like, I had a lot of fun with it, but some things in that game were just broken. That sucked. I remember playing that game all the time online, but nobody would be online, and the only time you get online matches were with people who play Kratos and just spam moves. I think it was a fine concept, it's just bad balancing. Like I think the um I think the gameplay is fine. It's just that really bad balancing issues. Like there was no reason to not play Kratos or something. Like, if you wanted to win, just play Kratos. But, uh, in PlayStation All-Stars, I would, uh, I mained Isaac Clark, Spike, Sweet Tooth, and Evil Cole. Those were the four characters I got 999 with. Yeah, Kratos is more broken than Bayonetta. Oh god, and Raiden. Yeah, I imagine. I don't like, as uh, my characters, none of my characters play well against Bayonetta either. That was a dumb decision. Yes, move right into one of the strongest moves in the game. Good job, me. I am not paying attention right now. I never really got into her. I love fighting her as Game & Watch though. Because of the uh, Salute the Sun. Or Sun Salutation, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a fun idea. Oh wow, you actually do have to crash into it. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay then. God, I hate Outlaw. This special is so strong when you find him as an AI, but it's so pathetically weak when you play him as a character. And it sucks.
And if you release Sunset preemptively, you can always keep your opponent guessing. Yeah. That's true. It's okay. Oof. Environmental. I forgot the stage had an environmental. That's okay, Donna. How the hell did that kill me? Whatever. Oh, okay, just spawn on top of a health pickup I don't need. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, I lost my environmental, that's right. I like the environmental in this stage. Even if it's not really that amazing, I still like the idea of it. I think it's funny. I kind of question how it works. I love that heavenly choir whenever you get a uh... Oh shit, did it already respawn? <laughs> I really don't know how the respawn rates in this game work for weapon pickups. I don't know if they're on global timers or what. I have a feeling it's something like global timers, but I don't know for sure. I'm just glad that I now have a uh, thumbnail for these games, for this game. Cause that's something I want to start doing. I want to start making uh, thumbnails for the games I play. It gives me something to draw for sure, and it just it can be fun. Even if uh, using Clip Studio Paint now makes my uh, pictures take like a couple hours longer to do <laughs> uh, even for flats even flats take longer now but that's fine yeah I have fun I kind of want to save my environmentals because they're really good in the next stage Okay. Okay. Oh boy, it's snowy roads. Oh yeah, this game is really bleak. No. Black Rocks Twist ML PS4. Blackfield Asylum is in this game. Which is probably where they got Black Rock or where you get Black Rock from. But no, completely different uh, area. Also, yeah, uh, the environmental for this stage is broken. It's this entire area that is affected by the lightning storm. So you can get like, I just didn't get like six people struck by lightning. Which I think has the power of a uh, power missile, I think? I want to say it's something like a power missile. Maybe a bit stronger. Thank you, Roadkill. But this uh, stage introduces uh, instant death pits. Which are so much fun to deal with. Especially when 
you get enemies who try to push you into them. And it's like, oh goody. Because it's not like a Twisted Metal PS3 where uh, you just get a slap on the wrist and uh, some damage. No, in this, in this game, it wasn't until head-on. Until head-on, uh, instant death pits were instant death pits. They instantly killed you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And it's a pain in the ass. Especially if you uh, accidentally wind up flying off the ramp because you already used it and you forgot. Uh, I've done that many times and it sucks a whole lot. Oh, sweet tooth. I thought you were roadkill. Your special attacks look very similar. At least the missile part. The part where you turn into a robot, that's complete. Oh no, roadkill is here too! Well, shit, fuck me. Don't fuck me. I made that joke last stream. Haha. Uh -huh. So I started watching Pop Team Epic, and I have to say, it's probably one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. It's, it's anime level of shitpost. It's, it's an anime about shitposting. And I love it. It's so dumb that you don't know what's going on, but you laugh because you're confused. And just because it's so unexpected, it's... Like, what the hell is going on? Why am I laughing? But you laugh anyway. And I've already used up uh, my... full health station. Wonderful. Fuck. I don't like this stage. Also, hold on, where's my phone? I put my phone down somewhere, and now I can't find it. Hold on. It's dark. I don't need it right this second. Just trying to remember where I put it, though. It's probably on my couch somewhere. Just that I'm playing with the lights off. Don't feel like getting up and up and turning them on because I'm lazy. You know what? Before you kill me, I'm just gonna kill you. That might be my last life for this level. All right, on the skyscrapers, where every where is an instant death pit. I mean, the skyscrapers are basically. Twisted Mellow's version of Rainbow Road. He says you can push cars off with your uh, truck. You can. I wouldn't suggest it. Because while you, they can't stop you, they while they can't uh, stop you from doing that, they sure as hell can still move. So I wouldn't suggest it. I don't like this character. More specifically, I don't like playing as him, but I think he's the next in line to be played as, and I'm not looking forward to it. Also, for any of those wondering, each tournament takes about 45 to an 45 minutes to an hour, on average, depending on the character and how experienced I am with the character and how much I like the character and luck. 
If I die on a stage, it's obviously going to add a few minutes. Well, if I game over on a stage, it's going to add a few minutes. Then I have to restart it all the way from the beginning of the stage, and that's not fun. I saw that coming, and I couldn't stop myself in time, and that sucks. But oh well. This game has a pretty good soundtrack, though. Not my favorite soundtrack is Twist Metal series. That'd be Twist Metal 2, but definitely a good one. Each uh, stage in this game actually has three different songs to it, aside from the boss stages. And they actually are dynamic. They don't just start and stop at random points, they're actually dynamic. Like, there's a uh, song for when you're in the middle of a battle, there's a song for when there's nobody around and you're just kind of hunting for weapons. And there's a song for when it's just you and the final opponent. Like, if you heard the music change when I was uh, on that bridge, because there was nobody immediately fighting me. Yep, that's what I was talking about. And then once I get to a 1v1, it'll change again. But that'll be permanent. Jumping from building to building always makes me nervous. So it's like, what if I accidentally hit the wall? Or what if somebody freezes me or something? And I get fucked. I'm not going to be happy about that. Oh, the AI doesn't like the uh, rooftops either, by the way. The AI is just as susceptible to falling off as you are. Even if characters with better control can be pushed off the edge or accidentally drive off themselves. So hey, sometimes you'll just be playing the level, playing the level, all of a sudden, somebody gets killed, it's like, what the hell happened? It's like, that's why. Somebody accidentally killed themselves. It's always hilarious to see happen. Ha ha ha! Ah, that's why I love Junkyard Dog's special attack. People are hiding out. I'm safe here. Psh, no, you're not. Gotcha, bitch. You're in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. A helicopter. Mm -hmm. So this helicopter's name is Warhawk, and Warhawk is actually a reference to a um, game made by the team who made the original Twisted Metal single track, or the original two Twisted Metal single track. Um, it was a game where you controlled the army plane and uh, did missions. So this is a reference to that. Pretty cool. I never played Warhawk and I don't plan on playing Warhawk, but it's a thing. It's an old PS1 game. So this fight's kind of weird. You get these little minion clones, which only have like 20 HP or something. You gotta destroy them and then you gotta blow them up when the uh, Warhawk is around them. Just and break, uh, damage your shield. Do that three times, the shield goes down, you can wail on him all you want.
Like that. However, since he's in the air, only certain weapons will work. However, like, luckily, the game gives you only weapons that will work on this boss. Such as fire missiles, homing missiles, and yeah. Some specials will work as well, but some, re like, Junker dogs require you to get on the little lift of the uh, helipad. <laughs> so I'm going to be hunting around for weapons real quick. Also, he can, that talon on his front, he can use that to scoop you up and throw you off the ledge. It's not very fun. It's not very fair. Also, me uh, Mega Machine Guns just destroy that guy. I'd won the contest, and now... It was my turn to collect. I went to see Calypso. And just as promised, he delivered the goods. I knew right from the start, he'd get me the revenge I was craving. When we went back to the farm, Calypso said he had a little surprise for me. Somehow, he'd done it. He'd found that bastard who made me kill Annie. Son of a bitch even brought his plane with him. Calypso said all I had to do to get my prize was step aboard. It was a one-way ticket to my heart's desire. That pilot had taken everything from me. It was right time he learned how it felt. It may have been only the second time I killed someone, but it felt so damn good. I think I was beginning to see my true calling, so I done gave up farming and moved into the city. In a place like that, well, who knows what kind of trouble an old redneck like me could get into. Not a whole lot if the uh, cancelled sequel of this game has anything to say about it. Oh, joy. So, I have something to say about this screen right here. Okay, look in the top left corner of this uh, character select screen. You see that vehicle all the way over there? Believe it or not, that's another contestant in this, uh, in his screen. If you were to zoom out and see everything as a whole, you'd find that this entire, that all these pictures actually make one big picture, pretty much. The whole character select screen is a battle that's going on, and you just basically pick who you want to play in the battle. Like, you can see Dark Side over there. And I think it's really cool. And I'm really upset they never did this again. Because it's a really cool idea. But they never did it again, and that sucks. I love it. I hate this car. I hate... I just don't like him. Preacher, age 57, delusional. Paranoid schizophrenia with persecutory and grandiose delusions. Treatment, intramuscular meds, restraints. Avoid theological discussions. He's got... 8 out of 10 control, 8 out of 10 speed, 4 out of 10 armor, and what is that? 5 out of 10 special? Something like that? Yeah. The Lord does work in mysterious ways. He giveth and he taketh away. So it was with my freedom. In my years alone, in that dark place, I would often hear a voice calling to me from within. You are my chosen one, Jebediah. You are my child, here to do my bidding. 
Truly, I believe there would be no escape from the demon inside me. I wasn't even a real preacher. I was an evangelist, rejected by the church. I didn't have the strength to fight the demon alone. But one day, I was given a chance for salvation. His name was Calypso. He came to me with a proposition. If I won his contest, he would reveal the truth. It had been two years since the beast had entered my mind, controlling my actions, making others believe I was responsible for those killings. But now I had a second chance. I accepted the offer willingly. All I had to do was win, and a path back into the light would be opened unto me. Oh, uh, Calix. Uh, Calix. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, if you were ever playing this game in your home country, and you got the home country version of this game, none of the uh, cutscenes would be in it. The PAL regions have no uh, cutscenes because they were deemed too graphic. I mean, it's not wrong, but still. So this is Brimstone. I don't like him. I don't like his car. I don't like his character. I don't like anything about him. So this is going to be a fun playthrough. Also, a really big question. How the hell is he seeing out of his car? You can't see through stained glass. It's there for decorative purposes not to look through it. So yeah. Uh, Bremstone's basically the exact opposite of Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog was slow with a lot of health. Brimstone is fast with low health. His special weapon also sucks. His special weapon is to launch a uh, kamikaze bomber uh, out of it, the, off the front of his car. And yeah, it homes in slightly, but it kind of sucks. I mean, if it hits, it does decent damage. If it hits. But it's it's not good. It's only saving grace is that it recharges pretty fast. Like see, he was right in front of me and yet it's still just missed. That and they're on a timer. Like, when you launch them off, they'll ex automatically explode on a time limit. That and I don't like the guy squirming on the, the butt of his truck. It's disturbing. Yeah, he moves in real time. He doesn't react to the battle. He just kind of squirms whenever he feels like it. He might be on a timer of some sort, but I don't know. But he's definitely alive, and he definitely squirms. And it's definitely uncomfortable. As a kid, it freaked me out. And it still freaks me out, and I'm not sure why. I guess it's just... Uncomfortable. <laughs> Disturbing. The manual states it's a guy who refuses to answer to his sins. I'm not a very religious person. I'm a spiritual person more than I'm a religious person, but... I don't really care for religion anyway. You believe whatever you want to believe, as long as you don't shove it down my throat, I don't care. As long as you're not hurting people, as long as you're not shoving it down my throat, you practice whatever you want to practice. You want to believe in a triple horned horse that shoots rainbows out of its ass? You go right ahead. You pray to that god like no tomorrow. Just don't make me do it.
Who is your favorite character in the series and TM games? Uh, Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket or Mr. Slam, one or the other. Unfortunately, Yellow Jacket's only in two of the games, but luckily he's in this one, so. This game's also the reason he's my favorite. Unfortunately, he's also one of the last characters in the lineup, so we won't be getting to him for a while. Because I want to do this in order just so I keep track. I'm not good at keeping track otherwise. I'll forget. Also, I should mention that most of the uh, cars in the series don't stay consistent. Like, they'll always have a new driver or a new look or a new special. Aside from uh, Sweet Tooth, aside from Sweet Tooth, who has the exact same driver and everything in every single game. Just his special changes. But now nah, he's always the same. He's always Needles Kane. He's always a clown. He's always all about power and uh, health rather than speed and control. I bought a new copy of this game, but waiting till I get all the games before playing it. That's fair enough. It's on the PS4 PSN store. That's how I'm playing it. My favorite PS, my favorite uh, game in the series is probably Twisted Metal 2, and this is a close second. We went to suburbs last time, let's go to freeway. I'll try to alternate between the levels. I do too, it's just that, okay, I do have a physical copy of this game, I do, and I've had it for many years, it's just that I don't have a capture card, so I have to use my P the PS4 streaming, uh, soft, the PS4 streaming service. This is my least favorite till the PS3 one. Uh, the PS3 is a close third. I just wish that it had more single player. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But nowadays, if you want to play like Twist em Out, Twist em Out, you can just play Twist em Out Black online. Apparently the servers are still up. Now are people made fan servers. One or the other. But apparently it's making a comeback. I I don't play it though. Apparently there's all these techniques and whatnot you can do in this game that I don't know about. I'm only competitive in Smash. Competitive Twist of Metal is weird. Eh, it depends on the game.
Oh, Jesus. I think I get tears. <laughs> well, I had T. I uh, just mailed 2012 on my PS3. And I got it when it came, like the day it came out. I still like it. It's just I wish it was better. I'm also really upset that Sony just kind of dicked over J David. Because it wasn't all David's fault. A lot of it was also Sony being assholes and just putting their dicks in the, into the soup. It's basically what happened to Dead Space 3 with EA. They pretty much said, "No, you got it. You got to put more emphasis on the multiplayer in this and mode in this game. We want you to do way more multiplayer mode." Uh, and then when uh, David was like, "Oh well, we gotta. We're not done with these characters yet. You know, we still have to finish putting the finishing touches on Mr. Slam, Twister, Yellow Jacket. Nah, -uh, you're you're gonna release it right now. You're gonna you're gonna release it now. All right. Well, we'll just make them uh, free DLC. Uh." -uh. You're gonna make them pay for that. No, no, we're not. That that was a uh, that was on us. The players shouldn't have to pay for what should have been done in the final game, and you just made us release it er early. And then they fired him. And then he created Eat Sleep Play, or Eat Sleep Play went off to do their own thing. Yeah. Like I said, it's like what happened to Dead Space 3. Too many cooks. It depends. I kind of like Twister, but it depends on the game. I like Yellow Jacket. Which is really upsetting. I like Yellow Jacket and Mr. Slam, and they were both supposed to be in 2012, but... You know, like I just said, Sony being dicks about the game. They might be references to Grasshopper. They're not dune buggies, but they're close. Grasshopper was a dune buggy. Grasshopper was actually supposed to be in Twisted Mile Black until she was scrapped. Ah, hold on. I've been getting foot cramps a lot lately. I think it's this couch. This couch kind of sucks. Ooh, this one's a bad one. <sighs> Probably drink more water, too. No, he does. Which was most still his. Right now they're just working on God of War. God damn.
damn my foot. Sorry, my foot cramps can get really bad. This couch sucks. Sorry about that. So, might it be a chance if it comes back and... Pretty much, yeah. Since he now works with Eat Sleep Play and uh, Sony's on the side, he has a lot more freedom to himself to do what he wants. He's his own boss now, pretty much. Sony's just his publisher. I don't think that they go that far, but I wouldn't m mind a remaster of Twist Metal 2. There's also another reason I hate this guy. Uh, when you're launching a special, if your followers do uh, attach to the car, you can't fire anything until they're done. And it's a pretty lengthy animation. It's a lot of frames of animation. You can't fire anything. And you can only run away. Which is really annoying. Also, I don't think I'll ever pick this stage again because for some strange reason, like some sort of glitch, uh, the health, the health ramp only works once, when it should work twice. I don't know why this is. I don't know why on earth this glitch would occur, but it does. And it's fortunate, but it's true. Did I die in the last stage? I don't remember. I want to say I did, but I don't remember for sure. I can barely see my health, but it's there. I don't think that's gonna hit. Nope. Is that the first time I've died? I don't think it is, but it might have been. I don't remember. You get three lives per stage. Yeah, I don't like it either. Well, that's not true. I think it's cool, and it's actually not a redesign. Uh, Twisted Metal Black was the first game to have the... Okay, actually, funny story about Warthog's redesign, as you call it. Which it is, but... Funny story. 
originally, Warthog in this game wasn't Warthog. The Warthog we knew in this game was originally another car named White Knight. And then he just got changed into a Warthog for whatever reason. I sneezed and he disappeared. <laughs> er, she, she disappeared. Oh, you ass! I forgot that could happen. Yeah, I don't like this stage. <sighs> At least I got her back for that, but the damage is already done. Like I said, don't expect me to come back to this stage very often. It's a real shame too, because I kind of like how this looks. I like Dar I like Dollface in this game. I don't like Dollface in uh, 2012. Oh, you ass. Of course you fall off at the very last second, so you can dodge that. Yeah, she wa uh, he was. In fact, the character that was supposed to control it was the uh, old lady called Granny Dark. She's only uh, in uh, concept art. She was an old lady with a giant machine gun. Yeah, it was. Dark side's also shown in the uh, options screen. Also remember there's a lot of lag between the, the stream and uh, the chat. I don't like it, it's just a fact. Nice. Nice. I thought that would have homed in on Spectre, but of course it didn't.
He was supposed to be, but they didn't. They didn't. Couldn't think of a driver to drive it, so he was scrapped. Same with Thumper and Grasshopper. Like if uh, you watch uh, the Dark Past uh, documentary, they actually explain like we would uh, make drivers and then the cars and then uh, basically pair them together. And there were many times where it's like they changed the driver and the car combinations. Well, in this game, it's a bit different. Twist Metal Black was a lot different than all the other Twist Metal Black games, than all the other Twist Metal games. I mean, you know, when you think about it, some characters just wouldn't fit in this world, like Mike and Stu. Mike and Stu wouldn't fit in this game at all. I like small brawl and with, uh, I really wish they'd bring Mime back. Mime was a lot of fun. She was a very interesting character idea. Very unique. And my favorite character in that game. Mine was the one that could uh, copy anybody special. The little uh, love bug. Or a uh, mini coop, I think mine was. I think mine was a mini cooper. That was piecemeal. Mine was the little one. But yeah, that works too. They're basically the same character. That was close. Yeah, mine was the little mini Cooper that you had to unlock. My question is, who let Minion have this giant shield? 
Man, that's a little cheap, don't you think? Also, how did nobody figure out how to get around it? Like, an entire contest didn't understand. Hit the giant green panels? Really? Really? Nobody was that smart. and Or nobody hit his panels. No one in the entire contest hit his, his panels consistently. No, in this one, Minion's not a demon. Minion's just a regular guy. This is also the last time we've seen Minion. Which sucks, because Minion's really cool. Hi, Minion. This doesn't hit, I don't know what. Wow, barely does shit. This one's a tanker. I like how Minion looks in all the games. What did I hit? What the hell? <laughs> I just hit- I just bumped off of nothing. Like, what? That was really weird. That's- There was a pebble. That's a big pebble. Actually, no, I think I know what it was. It was, um, it was the stake on the front of Brimstone's car hitting, uh, because I was going at a slight angle, it probably hit the angle, it probably hit at a weird angle somehow. That's probably what it was. We're going to be realistic here. When a man is lost in darkness, it is wondrous indeed how his mind will find shelter in memories of the past. I thought back to that fateful night. I had been approached by a young couple who brought to me their child. I was to perform one of my most important duties. An exorcism. But the beast was too powerful. Even as I ministered to the child, the demon brought its foul influence upon me and entered my mind. My soul was trapped. All I could do was cry out inside. As I tore that church apart. The demon's hatred raged all around, killing everyone in the church. Countless millions of years it had been hounded by the warriors of God. And now, it was going to make me pay. What went up in there? The and then, the creature abandoned me. 
right when I needed it the most. Get your hands in the air! Do it! Do it now! Every waking hour since, I've feared the demon. But now I have a second chance. When I win this contest, I know the Lord will welcome me back with open eyes. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Ugh. Oh good, I get two of the most heavily armored characters in the game in this section. Great stuff. Alright, see ya. Thanks for stopping by. I'm trying to stream this nightly aside from weekends because I work weekends and then I get home all tired I don't want to die god I don't like this level. I don't like this level. This level sucks. Yes it does. <laughs> I like the guy, how uh, the guy wiggles and squirms on the uh, cross in the front. I don't know why, I just do. Makes all sorts of weird groaning noises. The only good thing about Preacher's Special is that it goes through shields for some reason. I don't know why it does, but it does. Also, if you're just a real review, you can actually watch the guy. <laughs> I don't think he's happy about his situation. What do you guys think? I don't know how to fix the camera though. This is annoying. I forgot about the camera. This could be annoying. I'll get it fixed in a minute, I'm sure. I'll figure it out. Um I don't remember. I know in the PS2 version there's a button for this. But on the PS4 version, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like there is and I just don't remember it. Or it could just fix itself, that works too. Who all is still here? Because I, I can't see who's still watching from the watching button or the watching signal. 
So I have no idea who all is watching still. I know I'm not the most entertaining, but I don't know. It's just easier with an active audience to talk. Because I'm usually pretty quiet by myself. Okay, so you're here. I'm just wondering. Ow. I'm just wondering who the other person is. Well, that's interesting. I'm just trying to figure out who the other person watching is. Cause like, Calyx has gone quiet. So I don't know if he's still watching or not. Or if it's somebody else who just kind of sitting around being quiet listening. Yeah, it is kind of counterintuitive. Well, actually, I listen to uh, like streams and whatnot when I draw. So it's not that weird. Hold on. I gotta check something real quick. What the hell? Okay then. Whatever. Oh shit, hi. You can shoot down, down the blimp though. However, if you do so, it uh, takes away the environmental of the stage, which is that blimp somehow creating a giant electrical storm. I don't know how it does that, but it does. I like how the music gets all epic and whatnot when I go to attack somebody and I just don't attack anybody else. Like sometimes you'll just suddenly find somebody and kill them real quick and then the music will go back to ambience. <laughs> it's like, just like a quick kill. It's like, oh, oh, that was it? Oh, okay. Um, quiet down the music again. It's also weird that the music somehow fluidly changes from uh, action pack to uh, ambient. It's like really fluid most of the time.
God, who is that? I can't tell. Oh fuck, it's Mr. Grimm. Fucking course. Like I said, unless I kill him first, he's the last person on my ass all, all the time. And he always, almost always has full health. Because he's an ass. I've been made fall. Also, your special weapons don't take up inventory slots. So don't worry about that. You can only hold five at a time though. They have a maximum. Please die, please die, please die. Okay. Hi there, bye there. I have seven power missiles. You never need seven power missiles, but I have seven power missiles anyway. I'm going to use them on the next level. Provided I don't die. God damn it. Okay, pal. You don't like me, and I don't like you. But somehow I think I don't like you more. I'm glad I didn't die. <laughs> that level takes forever and getting a game over in it. Fucking... Ugh. Another foot cramp, I swear to god. This couch sucks. No oh boy. Lightning storm. Holy divine wrath. Good job, me. I have eight gas cans. Why do I have eight gas cans? I don't need eight gas cans. They're nice, but I do not need them. That's silly. I was really hoping he'd run into that power missile. I was really hoping one of them... Oh, hey, look at that. Exactly what I was hoping for. I was really hoping one of them would drop down that ledge and accidentally kill themselves. And Crazy 8 did that. Ow, I'm being hurt.
There's not one, not two, but three places to pick up environmentals in this in this level. Who's the, who am I fighting? Sweet tooth. How fitting. For reasons you'll see it later. Much later. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Okay. How fitting I start in the church. Most demonic looking church I've ever seen, though. Come on. Man, your special sucks. I will never get over just how bad Brimstone's special weapon is. Hi, dark side. Damn it. This has been a pretty good skyscrapers so far. Come on. <coughs> Somebody come on down. Or both. Fun for the full family. Spectre and Junkyard Dog, wonderful. Oh. 
What the hell is that? He just zip zoomed away. I never really explained why pe what's up with the people running out of their cars on fire, did I? Um, when you kill somebody, the driver will run out of their car on fire, and if you run them over, you'll get a health bonus from it. It's called a mercy bonus. It doesn't always work sometimes, though, for some reason. Sometimes you'll run them over and they won't give you health. Uh, other times they will. They're supposed to, so it's kind of a glitch. That they don't. Karen and Twist 2012, but much more refined. Wow, no lives lost. Well, that was a really good skyscrapers. <laughs> You're in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. Interesting fact about Warhawk, he was originally play supposed to be playable. However, they he was deemed too overpowered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the police is a higher power. As far as you're concerned. Police also have a uh, giant helicopter. Warhawk ad identifies an Apache attack helicopter. Okay. Ow. I can't believe I didn't catch that hole. Hey pal, you mind settling down? Sitting? There you go. Ow. That hurt. Get him. You're useless. He just clipped through the goddamn building. What the hell was that? It is all day, pal. <laughs> I have never seen him clip through the building. That's hilarious. And he's down. No more helicopter. Yay! An El Camaro beat a helicopter. 
That's all of a sentence. The contest was mercifully at an end. I had triumphed over the darkness. I visited Calypso. It was time for him to prove my innocence and clear my name. And yet, he seemed hesitant. I made no promise to clear your name, he said. I only promised to show you the truth. And the truth, he said, was that the demon wasn't real. The voice inside me was a figment of my imagination. My God, it was all in my mind. The exorcism? It wasn't an exorcism at all. It was simply a baptism. It was Judgment Day in that church, and I was the angel of death! The truth had been delivered indeed, but not by God, but by Calypso. He was right. I was, as they say, insane. My whole life I'd been trying to silence that voice. I even performed rituals to show my loyalty to God in hopes that he would save me. But nothing worked. A man cannot hide from himself. There is only one path before me. then on to the next one which is outlaw I think yep outlaw agent stone age 35 suicidal homicide dissociative amnesia caused by trauma episodic depression intensive repression therapy and depressants no visitors unpredictable that southern drawl what about a southern drawl now? Two years I'd been locked away. Not a day went by I didn't pray to God. But I knew even he wouldn't forgive me for what I'd done. See, God only has time for those who deserve his mercy. I just didn't qualify. But then one day I had this visitor. I knew Calypso by reputation. You don't spend 10 years on the force without knowing every dirt bag in Midtown. Seems he wanted me in his contest. He said if I won, he'd ease my pain. My God, he knew. How could he have known? Calypso said if I won the game, I'd get a chance to undo the big mistake that was eating at my soul. Redemption. That's a big thing to offer a man without a hope in hell. How can I refuse? Oh, yeah. The, uh, preacher. The evangelist that I absolutely hate. So, here's Outlaw. For the first time, he's not a cruiser, he's a uh, SWAT van. I guess that's something. <laughs> it's still a cop car, just. Now it's a SWAT van. A lot different than a cruiser, I'll give it that. Probably a lot more fit for a Twist Metal tournament as well. But he still retains his, uh... Usual all-around... All-arounder stats. Even though you'd think this would have a fair bit more armor. Nope. Still pretty much all around. It is what it is. Ooh. 
just when he had an animation for a uh, satellite. Got him. Her. Them. They. <laughs> Dark side. That actually didn't hurt all that much. Interesting. That hurt him a lot, though. So, Outlaw's special is that turret. It auto it auto likes locks on, but if you can get them in front of you, you'll f and you mash L2, you'll see a uh, red line of sight in your uh, path. Fire it, uh, mash L2, and you'll start firing missiles as well as bullets. It's not that great. For whatever reason, it's a lot better when the AI uses it. <laughs> of course it is, it's the AI. Then the AI has a knack for dodging your bullets naturally. Because of course... I prefer the Omni Taser any day, but it is what it is. Also, for whatever reason, if you run into the uh, Tar Crusher when it's already completely down, you'll get stuck there for some reason, and it acts like you've been crushed, and I don't know why. It just kind of does. Where'd you go, Calyx, by the way? I get ya. I gotta remember it's probably like noon where you are, isn't it? Cool. That's cool to hear. God, I hate having only specialty weapons. Sometimes you just need a fire missile. You just don't have any on you. You're just kind of sitting there, well, shit. <laughs>
<laughs> Direct hit. Now one last enemy and I don't know who it is. Oh, that reminds me. I've been forgetting to show off a trick. See that airplane? I freaking missed it. Well, you can interact with that airplane. Or not because there's an opponent nearby and the game didn't want to be nice and let me show it off. But yeah, in order to unlock Yellowjack, you have to actually shoot that plane down. By the way, this game came out like a month before 9-11. So, yeah. As you can imagine, this, uh... This secret was taken out in, uh... The PAL regions. But not in the American regions. For some reason. Alex, uh, Australia is a power region, isn't it? I had to think there for a second. I don't understand how we cause lightning through a radio antenna, but we do. Okay, sure. I don't know who I hit with that, but I hit somebody. I'm glad I hit somebody, but I don't know who I hit. I hope I hit someone I hate! Flea coward. I thought I heard something coming at me.
Hey, Junkyard Dog, if you just want to sit there and take the, all this punishment, go right ahead, be my guest. Yeah, for some reason the AI sometimes just kind of sits around for no real reason. Like you just kind of break their AI real quick. Just kind of sit there. Dead. Holy shit, Shadow, get off my ass, good lord. Good lord, Shadow. What the hell? I've really ever had a good listen to uh, the suburbs final battle uh, final opponent theme pretty cool intense
how much longer I'm gonna be playing this. I might just beat Minion then stop because I'm getting tired. Nuts. The uh, environmental attack for this area is kind of strange. It actually summons helicopters to attack your enemies like so. It's kind of weird. It's the only environmental in the game to do that. It's weird. I don't know if it's really effective, all that effective either. It's just kind of there. does damage so I mean I'm not complaining fly dark side fly That's all you hear when you're around dark side, just loud horn honking. However, it also makes her really easy to fight because she's always in your line of sight. And to avoid her, you just slightly move left or right. And voila, she can't hit you with her special attack anymore. Same with Mr. Grimm. If you move slightly to the left or right, he can't hit you with his special anymore. Because he can only fire it straight in front of him. So just stab his line of sight and voila. Of course, saying that, it's also a pain in the ass to get a shot with Mr. Grimm's special. Also for a police officer, we're... I am making him run over as many pedestrians as I can, it seems. Also, if he's, uh... If he's sitting up here on his auto, on his turret, how is the car driving? Is, is it just like autopilot or what? What kind of SWAT car has autopilot? Then again, this is this is a video game, so I guess questions don't really matter, do they? I guess I just grab it to use it because I can.
You're really bad at hitting me with that thing, aren't you? Alright, I'm the minion. And then probably gotta call it quits. Hold on. This is a really quick minion fight, good lord. Well, this could be a really quick minion fight. Let's not count my chickens before they hatch, eh? It still balls this up. Hopefully I don't, but I can. Ugh. Of course I get a satellite. You can shoot the helicopters down if you want to them to hold an item longer for you, but if you don't get it within a certain period of time, it'll disappear. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Wow, that was a really quick minion fight. No deaths either. That was impressive. As I drifted away, the torment began again. The same torment I'd endured a thousand nights and days before. I began to remember. It happened a couple of years back. We were out across from the Northside Apartments. There'd been reports of terrorist activity in the building. When we got there, we found some kind of doomsday cult had set up shop inside. We were sent there to take them out. These guys were real psychos, desperate as hell, holed up like rats in a cage. But now their little hideaway was a kill zone, and I had them right in my sights. I dealt with a lot of dirt bags before, but for some reason, this was different. All units open fire! Open fire! Shoot the kill! All these years, trying to make a difference, and for what? So that we could arrest these scum suckers and watch them walk free the same afternoon? My rage got the better of me. I couldn't focus. I wanted to send these killers to hell where they belonged. I got them. But not before I made the biggest mistake of my life. I'd let my emotions cloud my judgment. It cost me. But it cost someone else even more. Oh my god. What had I done? Those people were dead. 
and it was all my fault. There was only one way out. But that way was closed. I was going to have to live with it for the rest of my life, and nothing I could do would ever take away the pain. Until now. That's that's his whole That's his whole thing. Ugh. So I'm going to call it a night there. Uh, because I'm really tired, and I don't think I'm going to be able to play this game competently anymore if I keep playing. So, I'll pick this up tomorrow night and continue from there. Till then.